Hello? 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 Cook uh, puré de papa. Yeah. yeah. Mashed potatoes. Tomorrow I I going to try cook the, the puré de papa. Mashed potatoes. Oh yes, it's easy. I think you will do it. Are you are you doing it like in a specific way, or like what 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 ingredients are you going to use? Meal. Butter, meal, butter, potatoes. Um, it's only three ingredients. Ingredients, yeah. No salt, mm -hmm. no pepper. No. It's interesting. It's interesting. Chef, Chef Herrera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, um, everybody is late. Everybody is late, or maybe they're not coming. So let's start, okay? They can watch the video later. Did you do the homework, Yasmin? Sí, yes. Say yes. All right, yeah. good, good. So tell me, tell me your list. <coughs> the first is Jay walking. Jay walking, okay. Second is vandalism. Okay. Shop lighting. Lifting. Lifting. Burglary. Burglary. Okay. Robin. Robbing. Kidnapping. Kidnapping. And murder. Murder. I put only seven. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay. I need to open my window. It is so hot. The problem is there is so much noise outside that I need the air. All right. So Yasmin, um, why why jaywalking first? Because isn't too serious because you're not kidding or hurting another person. Okay, that's true, that's true. I completely agree, all right? And why, why do you think vandalism I, I, is... I, 
I put uh -huh. the, the raise on the, the more and the less. The more, the biggest and the less. Okay, tell me, tell me. Is murder the biggest? Why? Is the biggest dream because people dying and um, it's terrible dream? Yes. Okay. Now, so you think shoplifting is worse than vandalism? Why? These are difficult questions. You can you can think about it. Hello, Jackie. So please leave. Hello, Jackie. Uh, what you say, Yasmin? Um, Shoplifting and vandalism. Why? Why do you have vandalism for two and shoplifting for three? I understand for vandalism when the people um, do graffitis make disorder in the social what is yeah, society like like Jackie said it can be graffiti um, like graffiti like on the walls but sometimes it can be the destruction of a property because imagine if I put the spray paint on your car and you have a Mercedes, it's vandalism. Yeah. But, but maybe it destroys your car. But you think shoplifting is worse? Yeah. Yes. Have you ever shoplifted, Yadmi? Have you ever? Yeah, have you ever shoplifted or stolen from a store? No. I never shoplifted. Never? Come on, Yasmin. And you, Jackie? Have you ever shoplifted? No, never. Never. How about you, teacher? Yes. Yes. The, the first time I was maybe three years old, two or three years old, I was in Walmart and my mom took me to the baby section. To the baby section. And, um, well, uh, in, in English, chupon is called a, oh my gosh, what do you say chupon? A, a pacifier. So, you know, I was two or three years old and I, I stole a chupon. I stole a pacifier. So, I, I grabbed it. And I and then I put it in my in my pocket, and because I was I was very small. I had on overalls and I put it in my overall. And um, my mom didn't know. My mom didn't know, but the but the workers were watching me. They were watching me. So when my mom finished paying, and she she, she left the store, the security the security guard came to her. I said, hey, you're stealing. And my mom said, no, no, I'm not stealing. I'm not stealing. Yes, you are. And then they took the pacifier from me. And said, look at this. And she was like, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. I was like, oh. And my mom told me that she had to pay three times the price. I think the, the pacifier was like $3. She needed to pay nine dollars 
or they were going to call the police. He said, no, no, here, the money. So my mom had to lose money because of me. And then later, when I was a teenager, I stole, I stole gum, gum one time from the, from the gas station. You know, you know how here in Acapulco, sometimes they, they have the Femex and the Oxos. It was something similar like that in the United States, but different companies, of course. The gas station and the and the store and the store. Sometimes I would I would steal the the gum and put it in my pocket. I, I I was a I was a bad child. But yes, I'm glad you don't steal. I'm glad. I don't steal. I don't shoplift anymore. I don't shoplift anymore. Okay. Jackie, what? What, what does your list look like? Is it the same as Yasmin's? It's the same, but I put in third place, Bulgari, and third place, Shoplifter. Shoplifting. Oh, wow. Do you know what burglary? Why? Tell me why. That's interesting. I don't know. I think that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I don't but know. But you know, you know what burglary is, right? And uh, robo. Yes. Uh -huh. From a person. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's interesting. So. It's worse if they steal from a store than to steal from a person, correct? Well, I don't know. I think that. I think so. All right, all right. When, when, when you think of the word shoplifting, what, what do you think about? What do you see? Like, what do you imagine? What do you imagine? A person take something about the supermarket from the supermarket. Supermarket. Yes. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. That is shoplifting. <clears throat> I think it also depends on what they steal, right? Yes. Because I mean, a burglary, maybe they steal your, they steal your cell phone. But in shoplifting, maybe they steal a chocolate or something, right? It depends on what they steal. It's true, that's true. Thank you, Jackie. Andres, welcome. Okay. Can you hear me, Andres? Yes, yeah, teacher. Good afternoon. Hey, Thank you. Are you working? Yes. Yeah, sure. Yes? Okay, okay. No problem, no problem. Welcome. All right, ladies, thank you for doing your homework. I really appreciate it. Let's begin. All right, so last week we started this lesson, but we didn't finish it. It is, today is June, June 8th, 2020. And Sorry for all the noise. We are discussing crime or crimes and punishments. 
crimes and punishments. We are on the student book page 46. Question four, unit five, lesson B. And you are with me. Do you hear that noise or no? Yes. Oh my gosh. I couldn't sleep last night because all the noise. Oh my God. It's very difficult. Uh, my eyes are like this because I didn't sleep good. It's, it's funny. All right, well, please open your book to page 46. Tell me when you are ready. Give me a thumbs up when you are ready. Page 46, Lesson B, Crime. All right. You are on page 46, everyone? Yes or no? Yes, I'm ready. Yes? yes? All right. Well, just so we can refresh our memory a little bit, I am going to play the audio for this exercise for 1A. You remember in this exercise, we had to put the question in the correct answer. All right. So what I want you to do now is just listen just listen and you know pay attention to the structure of the sentences you know the the grammar um, pay attention to the verbs and things like that okay I'm going to mute my audio I'm and punishment one building vocabulary and grammar a Read the opinions from readers in the newspaper above. What questions are they answering? Number the questions below. Then listen and check your answers. 1. What should happen if you get caught shoplifting from a store? I think shoplifters should be fined at first. But if they get caught stealing again and again, they should go to jail. 2. Should all murderers be sentenced to life in prison? I don't know. Some people get sentenced to only 10 or 15 years for murder. Killing another person is the worst crime, but it's a complex issue. 3. What punishment should you get for robbing someone? That depends. If you commit armed robbery, you know, use a gun or a knife, you should be sent to prison. 4. What kind of sentence should you get for kidnapping? Taking someone captive and asking for money is a major crime. Kidnappers should go to prison for a long time. 5. How should vandals be punished? If the vandalism isn't too serious, they should just have to clean up their graffiti or pay for any damage. 6. What should happen to someone who is convicted of burglary? Breaking into someone's home is serious, but first-time burglars should just be put on probation. 7. Should they arrest drivers who get caught speeding? You don't usually get arrested for speeding unless you cause an accident, and that seems fair. But if you get stopped a lot, you should lose your license. 8. What's the right penalty for jaywalking? A fine, maybe? I know it's against the law to just cross the street anywhere, 
but it's a relatively minor offense, and the law doesn't get enforced much. All right. So, what do you notice? What do you notice after the verb should? What do you see? B. B. And then what? Verb in participle. Yes. Kind of like the previous lesson, right? And now look at get. What do you notice after get? After get? Yeah. Verb and past? Yeah, the verb and past part, right? Yes. What, what are some more examples of get and the past participle in this article? Mm. Get sentenced. Get sentenced. Off. You say? Los. Los. Where, where, where? Los, you're in seven. At seven. Lose your license? Yeah. Stop. Oh. oh, you get stopped. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Any more examples or no? I don't think so, right? Yeah. And what about with should? Should. Should be. Can just be put? Should just, should just have. They should just be put on probation. Okay. What'd you say, Andres? Should just have five. Okay. But that one doesn't use the structure. Remember, should be. This one doesn't have to be. Oh, yes. There is one more. One more. Should be sent three. Yes, it should be sent to prison. All right. So just just remember that. Just remember that we have get plus the past participle, and we have should or negative shouldn't plus be plus past participle. Uh, just remember th those two structures and in a few minutes I will explain why we use these structures. What is the purpose of them in English? Because they are very common. Exercise C. Yasmin, can you read the instructions, please? What happens to people in your country when they break the law? Complete the sentences with the expression from the article, then compare with a party. Right. Let's do number one together. In Mexico, people who commit murder usually get nothing <laughs> get to 
prison. Uh, they get to what? Get to. Um, I want you to some? use one of the yes. That Sentence? is that is good. Sentenced. They usually get sentenced to what? To prison. All right. L l let me let me explain this one. You can get sent to prison or sentenced to five years. All right. Well, in Mexico, you can maybe not five years, maybe less or maybe nothing. But I want you to no notice this. You can get sent to prison, right? Sent to prison, go to jail, or you can be sentenced to five years. So use sent for prison, sent to prison, and use sentenced to talk about the time, to talk about the time of the punishment, all right? For example, Edward is getting sent to prison. He'll be sentenced to 20 years for the murder of Gloria. Edward is getting sent to prison. He'll be sentenced to 20 years for the murder of Gloria. All right. So remember, sent to prison, sentenced to, and then the time. All right. Right. Oh, uh, number two and number three. Ah, let's do it together. Number two. If you get caught shoplifting, you usually get what? Sent to prison. You say? Usually get sent to prison. Yes. Okay. Really? All right. And three. If a person commits burglary for the first time, he or she gets. He doesn't get sent to prison. He doesn't get sent to prison. No, doesn't care if if it's the first time. It's the ah. same because sent to prison is okay. We be sent to prison. So for everything you are sent to prison. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Give me one moment. I'm going to put my fan closer because my computer is hot. All right, I think that's better. Is the fan making noise or no? All right. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, it's okay. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Yes. yes? Okay. Thank you. Well, so. Again, we are looking at the passive voice. Um, why, 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 why are we always looking at the passive voice? Um, the passive voice is sophisticated, okay? It is, when you use the passive voice, you sound very um, formal. You know, you sound elegant. When I think of the passive voice, I think of somebody in a suit drinking expensive wine. It's a really elegant piece of grammar, all right? And in the, in the past, we looked at the, 
past passive, we looked at the present passive, and in lesson A, we looked at the passive of modal verbs, you know, should, have to, could, must, and ought to. And today, we're going to look at the passive with get and should again. So go to the next page, page 47. All right. Grammar chart. Page 47. 2. Grammar. Get passive versus be passive. Please listen and repeat after the audio. Examples of get passive. People who speed don't usually get arrested. Guys, people who speed don't usually get arrested. Some murderers get sentenced to only 10 years. Some murderers get sentenced to only 10 years. Right. After should, the be passive is more common. People who speed should be arrested After if they should. cause an accident. People? People who spend should be arrested if they cause an accident. Page 47. Three. Listening. Okay, I don't know what happened with the audio, but listen and repeat after me. Some murderers should be sentenced to prison and sorry. Some murderers should be sentenced to life in prison. Some murderers should be sentenced to live in prison. Life. Life in prison. Okay, so sentence to life in prison is in prison all your life, 40, 50 years. All right, no, notice this, catch plus verb ing. Repeat, what happens if they catch you shoplifting? What happens if they caught you shoplifting? What happens if you get caught shoplifting? What happen if you get caught shoplifting? No, in this case, catch doesn't mean, you know, like a ball. You know, like catch a ball. It means to, for people to see you. Okay, for people to see you. Okay, so in this case, catch is like, C. And after catch, you use the verb ing. Always. All right. But, you know, C, not just C. In this case, you know, you're doing something bad or you're doing something you're not supposed to do. Okay? You're doing something you're not supposed to do. For example, this morning I caught my grandma drinking Coca-Cola. She is not supposed to drink Coca-Cola. She is 67 years old and she has diabetes. And we tell her all the time, Grandma, don't drink Coke. Don't drink Coke. And so she, she doesn't drink in front of the family. But she, she will go in the street, buy a Coca-Cola and drink. It's like, her, it's like her drug, it's like a drug to her. But I caught her. I caught her drinking. She was not supposed to drink, but I saw her, all right? So that's what it means in this case. You know, we're talking about crimes and things like that. 
okay? Well, just remember, after get, don't use be. Don't say get, be arrested, okay? Just say get arrested. But after should, yes, use be and then the past participle, all right? Okay, Miss Flores, could you read the instructions for 2A, please? Complete the comments about law enforcement. Use the get passive or be passive with the verb given. Right. Very good. So let's do number one together. Vandalism should. Be yes, be punished. Oh, let me zoom. Vandalism should be punished. Punished. Vandalism should be punished more severely. Vandal should be sentenced. Sentenced. Be sentenced to a month of community service. Do you know what community service is or no? No. Yeah, what is community service, Jasmine? I don't know. Oh, I thought you said yes. Sorry. I say no. Community service is when you do something bad, like destroy or put graffiti on the wall, you have to help the community. There are many options for helping the community. For example, you can volunteer at the fire department. You can volunteer um, on a sports team. You can clean the streets. You can work in a hospital, you know, and that's community service. You're helping the community for free, of course, All right? So let's finish two, three, four, five, and six by yourself. Remember, after get, don't use be. All right, so pay attention to that. You have four minutes, all right? It is... 522 in four minutes we will check this information all right good luck i will be here
Yes, sir. Uh, when when the sentence is uh, in negative form, uh, what can I what I can what can I use? Um, verb to be in negative. What what do you mean? Exercise four and four. five. Not ten. Lots of executives. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lots of executives get caught stealing from the companies, but they. Oh, good question. Very good question. So the negative of get is don't or doesn't get okay yeah. and that is also for this one
All right, are you finished? Uh, yes, I think. Yes, mean Jackie? Yes. All right. Well, let's see. Number two for Jackie. More is for like third, be punished. What? No, wait. More <laughs> is for nice. More is shop like third, get caught. These days, because of all the cameras they have in stores, just the same, most shoppers are honest and they really shouldn't be videotaped. Okay, number three, Yasmin. Number three. People who have said hardly ever get stopped. Get stopped. By the police, the laws against spending sure should be enforced more strictly. Excellent. Everyone, look at this word. The police. 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 Okay. police. Not ice, like yellow. Police. Mm -hmm. All right. And next, Andres. Um, lots of executives get caught stealing from their companies, but they doesn't get sent to prison for very long. It doesn't seem right. You said they doesn't. They doesn't. But it's they don't. Sorry. Is sent with T? Yeah. Yeah, with T. They don't get sent to prison. All right. Miss Flores, next. A big problem is that most criminals never get caught. And the ones that get arrested often doesn't get convicted. Okay, again, here it is don't because the topic or the subject is most criminals and it is plural. Remember with plural nouns, we use don't. They don't, we don't. Yasmin and Andres don't. All right. Very good. Doesn't is it only it? He, she, it, or singular, singular nouns. Okay. My dog doesn't. My sister doesn't. Yeah. She doesn't. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's let's practice the pronunciation of this word. Well. Two words get arrested arrested get arrested arrested arrested, arrested. arrested. Re remember if in the present the word ends with a t like here arrest arrest ends with a t you add one more syllable and it arrest arrest it Arrest, arrested. Same thing with convict. Convict, two okay. syllables. Convicted, three syllables, and the past and past participle. Okay? So remember that if a verb ends with T in the present, in the past, add id. Convicted, arrested. 
but only with T. And number, the last one, please, Andres. Um, five? No, six? Yes, people. People under 18 shouldn't be given? Yes. Question, sentence, if they commit a crime, they should just be put on probation. Good, very good. All right. Now, I want you to take, take this information, um, write it in your book, or if you don't have a book, take a picture of it. All right, I am going to put you in different rooms so you can talk about it. Um, let's see, Yasmin, you're going to work with Jackie and I am going to work with Andres, all right? So you, you know the sentences we just did with an exercise 2A. Um, I want you to read them again to your partner. For example, number one, you could say, vandalism should be punished more severely. Vandal should be sentenced to a month of community service. Do you agree? Or what do you think? All right, and you can say, yes, I agree. Or no, I don't agree etc and give your reasons okay i would like for you to talk um until 5 45 so talk about five or six minutes okay and when you're finished you can return to the room all right please go to your breakout room Uh, and this, I guess you can stay here, right? Or not.
Hello, Ismael. Hello. How are you, man? You okay? Mm, yeah, I'm okay. Yes. Are you finished with school? No, I have no homework and class online in the morning. Oh, uh, well, when do you finish school? I don't know. I suppose it's week, but it's continuing. A lot of a lot of people are going out of school June June twelfth, I think. Yeah, it's the last day for many people. I think maybe in this week and this week and the Friday. Maybe. So you can relax a little bit. All right. Well, look, um, now, now I have another class at 6 p.m. So I have to end this class a little bit earlier so I can, you know, change from this room to the other room. And we're going to finish the classes a little earlier now, maybe 556, 557, 558, around that time, because we have another group at six, and it is, well, it's my group. So, yeah, let's finish here. But before we go, tell me, how do you feel this this grammar from zero to ten? Ten is very easy. How do you feel it? Seven. <laughs> Seven. I think that that was a little difficult. Okay, a little difficult. Thank you, Andes, for your um, opinion. What What do you think? is difficult about this grammar what is confusing um some some words i didn't know oh so it's like a vocabulary issue yeah okay, okay. well yeah it, it is the first time that we saw these words yeah so I, I understand okay. but don't worry tomorrow we will review these words a little bit more and Jackie and Yasmin, how did you feel this? Like eight. Like eight? All right, good, good. It's good, I think. Yasmin? Eight. Eight? Oh, that's good, that's good. You also have problems with the vocabulary, right? Yes. Okay, tomorrow we will check some words out a little bit more. And well, Ismael, I can't ask you because you came a little late. Uh, but look, your homework is pages 36 and 37. In the homework, you will see the vocabulary a little bit more and you can practice the grammar all right remember if you have any doubts or you want to look at more information about this it is called the get passive and be passive all right so you can find it on google or anything like that or you can just ask me tomorrow okay okay sure. 
All right, tomorrow we're going to we're going to have a conversation class. So we will speak a lot for like an hour. Um, we're going to talk about security cameras and ways to protect your security. Okay. Okay. Interesting topic. Well, that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow. See you. See, see you. you. Thank you.